go first overall in this summer's NHL draft. Today, though, he's up against his old friends and former teammates, and they won't be caught standing around. He's come with some new friends from Windsor, and together they'll do everything it takes to win. But the battalion are no slouches either, and they'll certainly give them a fight. Jason Spezza and the Spitfires face the battalion next on the net. Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Brampton for this afternoon's Sportsnet CHL telecast featuring the Windsor Spitfires and the Brampton Battalion. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Toth, and if you think there's a great atmosphere in this building, you're absolutely right because this is a crucial contest between two arch rivals in the OHL Western Conference. And uh, why do I say that? Well, let's check out the standings and you'll know exactly why. There's only three points separating these two teams. A Windsor in front of Brampton, 66 points to 63. And whoever gets that fourth seed, it's very important because that would give them home ice advantage in the first round of the playoffs. Head to head, even Steven, thank you very much. One win, one loss, and one tie for the two teams. And this is the final matchup between these two squads this afternoon. Once again, John Drews joins us in the broadcast booth, and there's another reason that everybody's excited about this game, John. Another chance to see Jason Spezza. Absolutely. Jason Spezza, number one rated overall by Central Scouting, and Jason is coming into a building where he played as a 15-year-old. He had an outstanding rookie season there, and he's excited to play against his old teammates. And he's in the race for the scoring leadership, and we... And John, he's got some help out there, too, in the form of Steve Ott. Steve Ott, Stan Butler called him the rat earlier. He's the type of player, he's in your face. He can score goals. He's a Darcy, Ty Ty Darcy Tucker type of a player. And he works hard every night and he comes to play. No question about that. Now, in terms of the, the Brampton Battalion, something very exciting for the hockey club. They've got Brian Finley back. They picked this guy up from Barry. He hasn't played for two months because of a groin problem. He'll see his first action as a member of the battalion today. Well, Brian Finley has a lot of experience. He took to Barry Coates the Memorial Cup last year. He lost to Ramuski in the finals, and he was the MVP of the OHL playoffs last year. He's confident, and he knows he can play, but Stan Butler wants to get him into as many games as he can before the end of the season the playoffs come. In front of him, Rostislav Klesla. He's a good one. Rostislav Klesla, probably the best defenseman in the CHL. He's a, he's a big defenseman, he's offensive, and they look forward to him covering guys like Jason Spez, the top players in the other teams every night. Now, your favorite player in the OHL is Rafi Torres. Tell us why, my friend. Well, Rafi Torres is, is a guy that comes to play every night. He hits, he scores goals, he does something exciting every time he plays. And I love watching this player play. He plays like a rolling ball of razor blades. And just like you, John, he's got lots of money, too. He signed a deal with the Islanders. They call it the Center for Sports and Entertainment, but that's too fancy of a name. It's the Bunker, for short. Time now to take a look at In the Nets, brought to you by Bauer. Leave an impression, and starting in goal for the Windsor Spitfires, Michael Layton, the sixth-round draft choice of the Chicago Blackhawks, and down at the other end for the Brampton Battalion, the first-round pick of the Nashville Predators. It's Brian Finley playing his first game as a member of the battalion and his first game in two months because of the groin problem we talked about in our opening for our show here this afternoon. Your referee is Terry Hobar, and on the lines, Ken Cox and Adam Fiorillo. We are getting set to get it on. The Windsor Spitfires in their road blue uniforms and the battalion in their home white fatigues. As the Spitfires will quickly dump it in, and Finley gets his first game action in two months as he plays the puck to the corner. Havel, he's loose. Break away, here he comes. Fans on the shot. Aaron Middle gave it away. Thompson, a veteran 20-year-old, read it. Here's Henrik, got some room, takes the backhand shot, Leighton, big save. I liked how Henrik went to the middle on that play. Here comes Rafi Torres. Now he gets it to Van Lusen. great play. But the Spitfires are there, and here comes Spezza. Breakaway, look out, takes the shot, power to power, and Finley wins the war. Nice save by Brian Finley, that's the first time he's really been tested tonight, and he stood up to the task, especially against a guy like Jason Spezza coming down. It's got to be intimidating when you've been out for two months, Jason Spezza's coming down the ice, 
Now what happens here is Radoslav Kleslik gets caught in deep again, mm. and Spezza breaks free. But Finley covered the net nicely, and Spezza was going for the five hole. Spezza gets his head up and shoots for the five hole, but Finley had come out not too far, cut down the angle. He wasn't sure if it had slipped through his leg. Nice. 115 to work it. Torres with the puck. Heavy shot, Leighton, big save, rebound, puck loose. Spitfires clear it to the line. Here's Klesla, he's going to load it up. Torres in the defensive conscious on that line that features Otten Windsor, he did a good job. Here comes Klesla, takes a shot right on. Leighton was way out of his net. Malenko with a shot, another save by Leighton, and he's been the story over the last few minutes. There was Klesla trying to extend that point streak, and he... Abel again. Moving in, moving in, takes the shot again. He missed the open cage. Oh, Havel having some bad puck luck this afternoon. Now he charges back the other way. Makes a nice move. Here he comes. Hooked at the last second by Mahan. Van Lusen again. Look at him work now. Torres with the shot. And laid to stop that. Aaron Van Lusen doing what he does best. McSwain to Havel. Will he get another chance? Still has the puck, takes the shot, he scores! It was only a matter of time. Lucas Howell has had an outstanding game today. He makes this opportunity himself. He has done it all day long. He's created chances for himself. He just gets the puck. Makes a simple move, nobody commits to him, beats a second guy, nobody takes the body, and throws it over to the top shelf of Michael Layton. Right here, someone's got to commit. Number 12, Craig Kennedy has to commit to Havel. He's got to take the body on him, he's got to finish his check. Lucas Havel, the guy who went right by him, Lucas Havel beats him, gets a shot on net, gets the first goal of the game. But he is well deserved, he's had a couple of chances. <laughs> Big collision behind the net, and Havel was involved in that. Spezza behind the net. That's where the puck goes. And isn't it funny how the puck always follows Spezza around? There's Spezza. Takes the shot. Another shot. Two shots. Three shots. And they can't go. He was trying to spot Mather, but it was read perfectly by Roar. Here comes Havel. We're going to have some fun. In tight. McSwain with a shot. Double edge slide. Layton. And a puck lying there, and they get it back to the point. Scurries over the line. Drops it for Klesla to Havel. It's loose. One shot, McSwain. Trying to tuck that puck home. Still loose. Van Lusen. Drops it for Havel. High energy player. There's a shot. They score! Maleko down low, and Havel set him up. What a, what a great play by Lucas Havel. He's been all over the ice tonight. He's done it all. He came to play. He drives wide with the puck, and Maleko caught down low. It's just to the side of the net. A nifty little pass by Havel, just short side, a la Paul Coffey. He used to do that all the time when he used to drive wide down the net. Here he's going. The goalie thinks he's going behind the net. He gets down. Maleko, as a defenseman in front of the net, knows enough to get it up top. a kick pass to Spezza from Hildebrand and it almost worked. Boy, that was a great little play. Things heating up at the bunker. Here we go, Harrison yeah. and Angel are going to go. No surprise. Right at center ice, John. Those are serious haymakers. Jay Harrison knows that he has to be the the leader on this team, he's got to play tough, and he knows that if he's going to make it to the next level, he's got to be able to stand up and do the dirty things that players don't want to do. And that will be it. And Jay Harrison, I was at the game Thursday here at the bunker when he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the 67's Lance Galbraith. Now, Lance is a, a real tough guy, too, although... 
at the end of the period. And there is Hockey Don Hadley. Hey, Don. Boy, I'll tell you what. This guy is the biggest Brampton Battalion fan in the building. He's seen over 2,000 NHL games, and he's seen a ton of amateur hockey. I was talking to him the other night, and I said, Don, we're going to get you on the air because nobody loves hockey like Hockey Don Hadley. He was the MasterCard Fan of the Year in the Ontario Hockey League last year. Great to see Don out at the arena. He really is a beautiful guy. Boucher. There's a shot. Rebound. Finley kicks it out. 2.20 to go on the power play. Dixon right in front. Finley got a piece of that. Look at that veteran goaltender stare that kid down. Battalion lead at 2-0 on goals by Havel and Maleko. Kennedy passes over to Spezza in front. Puck loose. Mather takes a shot. They score. And finally, they find a way. Well, they had to do it. 45 seconds left in the power play. They're down 2 0. Here you see the line rush. They just come into the zone. A nice little nifty pass. Spezza just reaches for it, just throws it out front. And, and here you see number 11, Sean Mather, follow it up with just a little backhand and flipped it over Finley, who's down on the ice. What happens here is the defensemen get pulled back. You see, you've got three guys caught down in front. And that leaves Mather wide open when the puck came into the high slot. You get guys trapped down low in the zone. These guys, in junior especially, one of the biggest things is teaching guys how to look over the shoulder. Right side. McDonnell, the big man with a big shot, takes the shot, pad save, puck loose, oh, went off the outside of the bar. As they're trying, the Windsor bench, they're trying to get someone escorted out of the building, obviously being hassled back there. By the way, over on that bench is the equipment manager, Mike Hughes, and Mike came up to the broadcast booth, John, and, and asked us if we would uh, pass on a special hello to his nephew, David Scott, a young 15-year-old who's watching our telecast this afternoon, injured in a snowboard accident, so... Get well wishes out to David. Get, get better, buddy, and be careful on that. Torres, soccer style, kicks at it. Klesla, top of the faceoff circle inside. Torres spins, fires, and that would have been the point Klesla was looking for to extend his streak to 19 games. 40 to go. Third period, battalion lead 2-1. Here's the tricky Havel. He's on his backhand, and Leighton played it well. In front, there's a shot, they score! McSwain, as Havel set him up, Leighton didn't know where the puck was. While the battalion, they're breaking down the ice. The puck eventually gets to Havel. You see him driving down the wing here. He gets an opportunity to shoot. He's got two guys diving on him, okay? They commit to him. And just like the last goal scorer against Brampton, the forwards come down too deep in the zone. They don't look over their shoulder. And Kurt McSwain is all alone out front of the net. Havel's been skating so well tonight, so strong. He has two players sliding. You cannot commit yourself like that. McSwain's all alone out front. Defensively, Windsor have to slow down, take a look over the shoulder. One guy's enough to cover the forward coming down on him. Not only one slid, but two guys slid for the puck. Italian, they're doing a terrific job. This is playoff hockey. Stan Butler, has, oh, he's oh, done a great job. Here's here. Havel. Oh, what an outstanding Sorry to interrupt you, John, but Havel. Oh, absolutely. That was a fantastic oh. save. And look who's in there, Steve Ott again. He's just a competitor. He does not like to lose. That's a lot of frustration. Yeah, right it is. They're, they're getting their frustration. Like I said, he hasn't scored a goal in four games. He's just feeling it. I couldn't believe how Alba snuck in behind the defense like that, looking for point number four. That was great. Well, it doesn't surprise me. The guy's been all over the ice yeah. now. He's skating so well. Where's Klesla? He needs that point. He's got the empty net. Malenko with the shot, keeps coming. No. And now they'll look for Klesla. There he is, takes the shot. That was his point. Boucher made the save. Oh, my goodness. And now Klesla doesn't have a stick. He doesn't have a stick, so he can't get a point now. And that's going to do it. <laughs> what a way to see your points to again. But what a win for the Brampton Battalion as they do it to the tune of 3-1. They, wow. they did an outstanding job. They outshot Windsor 43-20. And Brian Finley in his debut as a battalion came up big. Didn't miss a beat. And you can't knock this guy. Michael Layton, he stopped 40, 40 shots. Played very strong. 
unfortunately on the losing end of it. Time now to take a look at our play of the game, brought to you by Bauer. Leave an impression. Well, Lucas Havel, outstanding all day long, comes and drives wide, gets the initial shot, and picks up his own rebound, and has the, the patience and the composure to find McSwain high in the slot and just throws it up over sprawling Windsor's Spitfire players all over the ice. And tonight's three stars are brought to you by Toyota Canada and its dealers, and there's no question about number one. Well, the three stars we talked about, number one, Lucas Havel had a terrific game today. He was strong on the puck all over the ice. And like I said earlier, Brian Finley in his debut in an Italian uniform did a nice job. Michael Layton stopped 40 shots. Strong effort. You got to give everybody credit today. Everybody played really hard and competitively. It was a very interesting game this afternoon. Our next game coming up on Sportsnet CHL Hockey. One week from today, interleague matchup. Shawinigan and Oshawa. Shawinigan beat Oshawa in the first game of this home and home, 5-2. to two. They'll do it up right again next Sunday. Our next edition of Tuesday Night Hockey promises to be just sensational. The LA Kings and the Edmonton Oilers battling for a playoff spot. We've got that game for you, Jim Houston and company. And coming up next, we've got Sports Central, the early edition, and the Lindros family name front and center. Brett Lindros injured in a serious snowmobile accident this afternoon. Darren will have news on that. And all the rumors continue about Eric Lindros. Brian Finley, his first win, and this is first game as a Brantley Battalion, his first game in two months, and it was a good one. So long, everybody. We'll see you next time on CHL Sportsnet Hockey.